David meet at park. Hello John. Hello David. John today you seems to be very happy and excited. Please share your happiness and excitement with me as well. Yes bro I am very happy and excited today. Okay. But why? Did you won any lottery? No no no. I am not that lucky enough. Actually today is 26th of November. And on this day every year we celebrate constitutional day. This day is also declared as a national law day. Okay. But why do we celebrate constitutional day on this day? Because on this day India adopted our constitution in the year 1949. This is historic day because on this day our law book was formed. Because of our constitution we have many rights and protection. What kind of rights our constitution has provided us? Well we have various right like fundamental rights political rights legal rights human rights and more and more and more. Not only this right there are some rights given to us minorities and people who are physically challenged. Wow we are lucky to have such a constitution who guarantee our rights and protection. Yes we are. After we adopted our constitution as there any time when our constitution was violated and our fundamental rights were violated at large. Yes many time but the most violative period when constitution was continuously violated using constitution itself was during the time of emergency. What like constitution was used to violate constitution itself. How didn't anyone protested against it. There were only few people who opposed this act of government. However most of them was agreeing with the ongoing act. and accepted it has their faith but there was one man who was standing in a different line the line of law and justice who was that brave person he was the great justice hansraj khanna he was the one who strongly followed constitution and stick to his oath of supreme court judge will you please tell me more about justice hansraj khanna i am very excited to know more about him and his courageous act sure i will but it will be better instead of telling you i should show you what you want to show me I have a amazing video that will clear all your doubt and it will satisfy you with amazing knowledge and you will get to know of importance of our constitution even more. Sure. So let's go to your home. Now I can't wait any more. John and David went to house of John. John please start the video. Sure David. Let's enjoy this video. Hello everyone. My name is Priyanshu Pathak. Today I am going to tell you all about a person who was known for his bravery and his firm decision and opinion. At a time when India was rocked with allegations of corruption in the judiciary, it might be hard to imagine a judge who would have the courage to stand up against the government, let alone the prime minister. But here is the story of a judge who once did, even if it meant losing the post of Chief Justice of India. He might be the single reason democracy is still alive in our country. a man so honorable that it cost him his job so brave that he stood up against prime minister when others didn't dare to a judge so fair that he did not think of the consequences when he stood for the right decision the man in context is justice hansraj khanna legendary judge of the supreme court of india during 1967 to 77 he stood for all the qualities required of a judge and his admirable courage is something which has made him immortal in everyone's memories born in amritsar punjab on july 3 1912 Khanna was the son of a freedom fighter Sabdial Khanna who was a lawyer and later became the mayor of Amritsar. Khanna's mother died when he was young and his grandmother looked after the household. He had given many life-changing decisions in his life but the one thing that we admire him for the most is his stand in the habeas corpus case ADM Jabalpur versus Shivkant Shukla during Indira Gandhi's emergency what is considered to be the darkest hour in Indian democracy. When Indira Gandhi lost her election case on June 12, 1975, she was granted only conditional stay which meant that she could not exercise her voting or speaking powers in the Lok Sabha and became just a nominal prime minister. She immediately declared a state of internal emergency. This gave her authority to rule by decree which allowed her to suspend elections and civil liberties. This type of rule is often used by dictators. He was the only judge in a five-member bench to go against the decision that if a person is ill-treated or His family members are detained without legal authority. He can't approach the court for any justice and there is no remedy to this situation. While all the other four judges agreed to this contention and supported the government, Khanna maintained that the state had no power to deprive a person of his life and liberty without legal authority. In his dissent, Khanna said, what is at stake is the rule of law. The question is whether the law speaking through the authority of the court shall be absolutely silenced and rendered mute. The court went by the majority and declared that a person has no remedy for illegal detentions, unauthorized demolitions, murder and mayhem. 
The Supreme Court sanctioned the rule of lawlessness. Khanna sensed that after his stand, his judgeship might be in jeopardy. On the day he was to give his opinion for the fated case, he had mentioned to his sister, I have prepared my judgment, which is going to cost me the Chief Justiceship of India. He was soon proved right. In spite of enjoying the support and respect of all the bar associations and the entire legal community, he was superseded for the post of Chief Justice of India by Indira Gandhi in January 1977, and the same day he sent in his resignation. He died at the age of 95 on the 25th of February 2008 during his sleep. A silent and peaceful end to someone who changed the picture of decision-making and inspired many people through his courage and commitment. It is not easy to take decisions, especially in situations as crucial as the emergency. But Khanna proved his worth and made a most historical decision which might not have resulted in substantial change at the time, but it opened the gates for many who want to take a stand for what they believed in. Justice Khanna was an amazing judge, an honorable citizen and above all, a free man, and this is how we all will remember him for many years to come. We always need to understand that our constitution is above everything because it gave us same identity as Indians. Our constitution do not separate us but it unite us for development of our country. Just like Justice Hansraj Khanna we need to uphold value and importance of our constitution. Let's take a vow today that we will follow our constitution and we will make our country better every day until we are best. Now my friend Seneca will take you from here. He will tell you a beautiful poem which is written by one of my another friend Aryan to motivate you all on Justice Hansraj Khanna. Well now it's time for me to take a leave from here. Bye bye guys. Well, Priyanshu that was a wonderful information now I will recite my poem in front of you all. Uh, listen to me carefully for your convenience I will recite poem in Hindi. Sun 1912 mein janma tha ek gyani. Kitabe toh hum sabhi ne padhi par koi nahi janta uski kahani. Ziddi toh bachpan se hi tha aur tha bada hi swabhimani. Wo karta har vakt koshish kyu usne jeetne ki hi thi thani. उसका चरित्र और सोच इतना पवित्र कि हो बरसात का पानी वक्त के साथ चल चलकर वो भी सीख गया था चलना अच्छे कर्म करके वो सपनों में जीता ना पड़ता उसे आंख मलना उसने की थी इतनी मेहनत कि संविधान का सूरज भूल गया ढलना आजाद तो हम हो गए थे पर ना जाने क्यों धर्म जात के नाम पर लड़ रहे थे एक दूसरों के पेट पे लात मार क्यों बढ़ रहे थे अपनों में ही एकता के फल ना जाने क्यों उजाड़ रहे थे पर उस ज्ञानी ने ठान लिया था कि संविधान के प्रति प्रेम और इज्जत देशवासियों के दिल में जगाएगा हर कोई नागरिक होने का अपना फर्ज निभाएगा वो यही कहता कि कायदे कानून का पालन करने से भी हमारा देश आगे बढ़ पाएगा जब उसने सरकार के गलत हरकतों को देखा तो उसने देश और संविधान के लिए उसने भी मुंह मोड़ लिया संविधान का ना तो उसने देशवासियों से जोड़ दिया पर हमने इतिहास के पन्नों में उसका जिक्र किए बिना छोड़ दिया वो देश के संविधान के लिए लड़ता रहा पर वो बिना बोले भी यह कह गया कि मैं मिट्टी में बना हूँ मिट्टी में मिलूंगा अपने मेहनत अच्छे कर्म के जरिए फिर खिलूंगा मुझे कहीं मत ढूंढना मैं हर सच्चे हिंदुस्तानी के दिल में मिलूंगा जय हिंद थैंक यू गाइस फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो